All right, we're here at Memorial Field um, with uh, senior Greg Lynn of the boys soccer team. Uh, the team just wrapped up its uh, preseason, first week of preseason. Greg, can you talk a little bit about how things are going? This is always, a, I'm sure, a tough week, two days, and I'm sure, I'm sure you guys are pretty tired now and just anxious to get the week over. Yeah, we've, uh, we've been doing a lot of running, uh, making sure that we're all in shape. Because, uh, you know, soccer, you got to be in shape. And, uh, you know, it's been, it's been a tough week, but that's good for us. Um, we, we try to push ourselves every day. We're trying to get better. Because uh, we know it's a, the, with a schedule change, it's, it's going to be a much tougher season this, uh, this season. But uh, we look forward to the change. Let's talk a little bit about last year. Um, it's a pretty special season for this team. You guys only lost one game in the conference, made it to the district finals. Lost, came up short again, second second year in a row, yeah. um, losing to Parkland in the, in the championship. Um, can you just talk a little bit about last season and what that was like for you being on the team with the other seniors that have you know, just recently graduated? Yeah, you know, it was a tremendous experience. Uh, I, I, I had a great bond with all the seniors. Uh, I've, I've played club with them a couple times. And, uh, you know, it was a very fun season. It was very special. Uh, Charlie getting his assist record. And, uh, you know, it was unfortunate that we came up short in the district final. But uh, for all the guys who were on the team last year, we know that's just motivation for this year. We look forward to using that. Now you move into this season, like you mentioned earlier. Um, you lost eight seniors to graduation. A number of, number of key guys you mentioned, Charlie and also Justice Faulkner, yeah. uh, a few others as well. Um, how much are you looking at this se I mean, this being your final season here at Emmaus as really an opportunity for this senior group to, to leave their mark on the program? Uh, you know, we, we, we look forward to it. It's um, it's a special year, uh, your senior year. It's your last season. Uh, you look forward to uh, making your mark and hopefully having it be a memorable season. Uh, obviously, some silverware would be nice to come away with it mm -hmm. in the season, but we know that's not going to come easy. Uh, so, you know, we're going we're gonna to be working pretty hard. Now, as far as um, looking into this season, what are, you, what are some of the things that you guys are really working on here in the preseason? Um, we're just making sure we're in shape. You know, that's a, that's a huge aspect of our game. Right. Um, but uh, we're working on set pieces a lot more this year because, uh, I mean, against, especially against Parker last year, we got burnt uh, on set pieces. Mm -hmm. um, and we're just working on keeping possession, you know. If the other team doesn't have the ball, they can't win. So, uh, you know, that, that's going to be a key aspect of our game. And uh, I, I think that's something that we can thrive at. And we've been doing great at, at it this week. Let's take it a little off the field for now and <laughs> go into the classroom. Um, you're a very good student here at Emmaus. Um, you take a lot of pride in you doing well. Yeah, awesome. yeah, I definitely do. I, uh, I feel like I build a pretty good relationship with almost all my teachers, and uh, you know, I, t I, I take great pride in my grades. Um, you know, it's not something to take lightly. Uh, you know, it's what you're doing for seven and a half hours a, a, in a day, uh, five days a week. So <laughs> you kind of have to make it a little fun, and that's that's what I t intend to do. Favorite subject here, anyways? Um, mostly math. Okay. Uh, I, I, I love learning new things, uh, and in math. Every single year, you learn something new. It's something completely different. Just a huge new step, and I look forward to that. And how about a favorite teacher? Uh, probably uh, Mr. Parrish. Okay. He's, uh, he's a great guy. He's hilarious. Uh, he he made social studies uh, actually a really fun class, which can be somewhat challenging to do. But uh, yeah, he he certainly kept us on our toes even at seven in the morning. <laughs> we're doing a little uh, little trivia here with some of the student athletes that were. Uh, we're interviewing and we did one earlier with uh, Shannon McGinnis from the girls soccer player. Shannon did very well. She got four out of four out of five questions right and came close on the fifth one. So <laughs> we're going to test your knowledge here. See uh, <laughs> see if you can beat Shannon. Right, let's do this. Um, do you know the principal here at Emmaus? Mr. David Piperato. Very good. How about the athletic director? Mr. Dennis Romello. Very good. Very good. And um, what year is your head coach John Carey at Emmaus? Oh boy. Uh, I want to say this is his 11th. Uh, missed it by one tenth year. Oh my god. All right. You should know that. I, sh I should. I should. <laughs> oh, so close. Everyone knows about the new conference. Yep. Do you know the name of the new conference? Eastern Pennsylvania Conference. And how many teams are in the conference? 18. Very good. Now, mind you here, Greg. We, we probably shouldn't have asked him that question because Greg and Shannon were both part of when the East Penn Conference had their press conference yep. back in June. You yep. were part of that, so you pretty much knew. So that was, <laughs> it, that was yeah, I was slightly cheating, but yeah. So that was for, probably right. a, probably a question I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> um, and let me ask you this, lastly, Greg, um, if you were on an island 
and you could take three things with you, what would those three things be? Uh, well, it wouldn't be what Shannon said earlier. <laughs> um, uh, I mean, you got to go with the this, this simple stuff, food and water, but um, if I was going to go with something really out of the box, I would say... Can I do an airplane with a manual in it? Or is, just the, air, is the airplane just separate? Separate. All right. Let's just go with the airplane. Why not? If you're sitting on an island, you're kind of okay. laid out to waste anyways. So. so you don't need, I mean, cell phone? Nah. Kids need their cell phones these days now? I can manage without it. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, that'll do it from here. Uh, Memorial Field again. This is Scott Johnston with EmeaSports.com. Uh, senior Greg Lynn. Greg, thanks for your time. Good luck this season. Thank you very much. We'll be keeping tabs on you guys. Yep. All righty. Thanks. Yep.